When the floaters are going up and down with the hydro cylinders, they're taking oil from this tank and they're pushing it into the accumulators. The accumulators are partly filled with oil, partly filled with nitrogen. This mixture of the two is creating pressure. That pressure is very, very strong and can range between 50 bar in low waves to 160 bar in higher waves. That pressure is used to turn the hydro motor and these hydro motors are turning the generator. Through this system you can lift the floaters, you can submerge them back to the water, you can control the different mechanisms that are inside the system and most importantly this is the system that is responsible for transmitting reliable clean electricity into the electrical grid of Gibraltar. We attach to existing structures as you can see here and it's really easy to maintain. We don't need any divers, we don't need any boats. Uh, we don't actually, even, even though we're a wave energy company, we don't even need to touch the water. As you can see here, they're doing a bit of maintenance and doing a bit of painting and it's quite easy. They're stepping on the floaters and that's how easy it is to uh, maintain the, uh, the floaters which actually create the energy. It affects no marine life. It's completely green. Uh, the marine life is swimming and floating freely here. The system is also very smart because it automatically recognizes upcoming storms. So when the waves are too high for the system to handle, the floaters automatically either go up above the water level or in some of our systems in the world, submerge under the water level and then it protects them until the storm passes. We need to move away from fossil fuels and the world is not going to move away for, from fossil fuels until we figure out that we can actually make it less expensive than fossil fuels, that it's easier, easier to maintain and that we can actually make money and create jobs. The location of the power station is in a place called Ammunition Pier. It was built during World War II and its purpose was to supply and store ammunition for boats and submarines. People lost their lives protecting their way of life and what these brave people did during World War II will keep on paying off in ways they never could have imagined. They thought it would protect them from the Nazis, but what they did will also help to protect future generations from climate change. The first wave energy plant, the first renewable wave energy plant connected to the electricity grid anywhere in Europe spring into action. I look forward to pressing the button. Gibraltar is pioneering here. It is the first European territory, the first jurisdiction, the first nation in Europe to have wave power harnessed and connected to its electricity grid. This is a wonderful day for Gibraltar. We are leading the world in this type of technology. We are investing in this type of technology because we feel we have a responsibility for the future of the planet. And Gibraltar is a very unique project for EcoWave Power and actually for the whole world because it's the first grid-connected wave energy power station in Europe. It's the first PPA, Power Purchase Agreement, that Gibraltar signed in its history. Uh, we signed the Power Purchase Agreement with the government of Gibraltar in uh, June 2014. And uh, since then we were, we were able to actually build this power station that is already selling electricity to houses all over Gibraltar. Uh, this power station is of 100 kilowatt. It would be expanded up to 5 megawatt, which is 15% of the consumption of electricity all over Gibraltar. Well, I'll, I'll borrow a quote from Neil Armstrong. Uh, one small step for Gibraltar and renewable energy and one giant leap for mankind. And I honestly believe that the ultimate solution for Gibraltar becoming carbon neutral is the ocean. And we're very eagerly exploring that, exploring our seas. Um, this is only the beginning and we really need to push to see how we can push up those megawatts in renewable energy quickly because that will bring so much extra benefit to us. So again, a special thank you. Um, let's inspire. Let's inspire each other. Let's inspire other countries, other territories. We've had some pretty foul weather over the, over the winter and I'm happy to say that your installation has survived. And that's, that's, that's a great thing, okay? That was my biggest reservation. All the safety parameters and um, conform to those of the Gibraltar Safety Authority. And just to say that we are very glad that you now form part of our generation park. There's other things going on. There's a traditional power station which is clean, not green, but clean. 
but I think yours is the first of many more green projects to come, and I, for one, will be pioneering it. Therefore, on behalf of the EU Commission and the EU Programme Secretariat in Gibraltar, I wish every success to EcoWave Power. May it expand and produce lots more renewable energy, and I hope that we're able to collaborate in future expansion of this project. Thank you very much. In the last four and a half years, we've been through a lot. People were coming with these magic black boxes. They told us, you give us some funding and we will give you the power. They never came up with anything. Nothing ever worked. This is clearly working. I think that the future is bright and the future, like the past, all those six million years ago, is in the power of the sea all around us. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very